Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. When we create a database table, one way we can be sure that data being stored in a column meets our business rules is by using data types. If we specify a column as the data type int, it makes sure that only integers are stored in that column. However, sometimes we may have business rules that require us to have stricter constraints on the data. For example, that an integer being stored is greater than zero. To handle these business rules, we can add check constraints to our table definitions. Check constraints can be specified when a table is created or added later using an alter table command. In this example, we will define our constraint when we create the table. Take a look at our table definition for the table named golfer score. We can see we have three columns. ID, which is an auto-incrementing primary key, name, which is a var car field limited to 25 characters, and score, which is an integer. We want to add a check to make sure that the golf score entered is not lower than 18, as it would not be possible to get a score of zero on a hole in golf. Yeah, I know, it's not really possible to get a hole in one in every hole either, but let's roll with it. To create our check constraint, we use the constraint keyword followed by the name of the constraint. In this case, score check. We'll see where this comes into play in a bit. Then we define our check by using the keyword check and providing the logic for our check. In our example, we use the logic score is greater than 17. This makes sure that our business rule that the score must be 18 or greater is enforced. Let's test our constraint by attempting to insert data we know will violate that constraint. Here, we try to insert a score of 17 for a golfer named Scott. When we run the query, we see an error message that the check constraint named score check was violated. Next, we will insert data we know does not violate the constraint. We insert a score of 85 for a golfer named Scott and we see that we do not get an error message this time. Finally, we run the query select star from golfer score to verify that the data was inserted correctly. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.